do you believe we must remain dependent of the oil industry? And, and that we must dig under the Saint Laurent and destroy the environment to get shale gas? There are some people who talk about free energy technologies, but most of these rumors and ideas never see the light. Does anyone here know uh, Daniel Pomerleau? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's an autistic man living here in the Quebec who builds electric circuits that make absolutely no sense and that work uh, even without batteries. The problem, uh, he generates electricity out of nothing. The problem is that nobody understands how it works and nobody is able to reproduce it. That's not so useful. <coughs> There's an inventor here in Quebec who recently released the plans of a technology allowing gathering energy from unconventional sources. This is nothing new, but it has not yet seen the light. So we have some very bright people here in this room. So who has heard of the pyrolysis chemical reaction? Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> not bright, not bright enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, according to Wikipedia, pyrolysis is a thermochemical decomposition of <laughs> organic material at elevated temperatures without the participation of oxygen. So simply put, when you take any organic material such as wood, leaves, paper, oil, or any derivatives of oil such as plastic and old tires, and heat it up to over 300 degrees Celsius without oxygen, a chemical reaction takes place. The organic material is turned into carbon and liberates hydrogen and methanol, which are both combustible gases. So far, so good? <laughs> so the invention I saw is a small oven that you fill with pieces of wood and lit up on fire. And once the fire becomes strong enough, it turns the wood into gas, and only the gas is being burned. This produces very intense and stable heat for a long period of time. And when you observe it, what's special about the flame is that the flame starts way above the wood because it's only the gas that is being burned. And it produces absolutely no smoke or pollution whatsoever. This oven does 100% per clean and complete combustion. And here's where it gets interesting. They've put four pyrolysis stoves under a large tank and filled the tank with garbage, plastic, and paper. And they plugged the tank to fill a second tank. And in under five minutes, combustible gas started coming out of the tank into the second tank. They plugged the generator in the tank and they made drill work with a generator working with the gas coming from garbage. It works. They also use the gas as fuel for an Alterian vehicle. It also works. Now, oh, think for a second. What would you say about building a giant pyrolyzer in Montreal? You send all the recycling, plastic, <coughs> old tires, and organic garbage over there to fill large tank. You use clean combustibles such as wood to gasify the garbage. You fill trucks with combustible gas. Energy becomes abundant and we get rid of the garbage. Um, and um, so what's left in the tank is carbon and the metal rims of tires. <coughs> and if you analyze a plant or organic material, one of the most abundant elements in it is carbon. Yet chemical fertilizers contain very little or no carbon. And four scientists at the University of Illinois published a research in 2007 showing that chemical fertilizers deplete soil of organic carbon. You can find the research over the internet. <laughs> and if you search for carbon fertilizers, you can find various companies 
providing organic carbon-based fertilizers that don't have the side effects of chemical products. So in other words, you get rid of the garbage, you get plenty of combustible gas, and you fertilize the soil to make, make trees grow faster. What more could you ask? But th this technology was shared by uh, Hydro Genial, who made a demonstration around Montreal to a crowd of over 500 people. And their next gathering will be in Quebec City on June 16th, and this, this time they want thousands of people. But here's the thing. You cannot make money from an invention like this because the economical and political structures cannot work with this. However, if you give the invention, plans, and instructions to the population, it cannot be stopped. So we'd like to have the detailed plans of how to build a pyrolysis stove for 30 bucks of material. So write this address down. Go to neostove.com. Neostove.com. You can get the blueprints, instruction videos, and updates from Ido Genial about their latest experiments and up upcoming gathering. This is an idea worth sharing. And I think it's time for it to see the light. Mm -hmm. Would you agree? <laughs>